The Boeing Starliner is heading back to Earth today without its crew. NASA astronauts Suni Williams and Mount Juliet native but Butch Wilmore went to the International Space Station on that Starliner, but some technical issues made it unsafe for them to ride back in the capsule. So SpaceX will bring them home in February. News Nation's Xavier Walton joins us from Cape Canaveral, Florida with the latest on this mission. I guess you can call it a comeback of sorts for this Boeing Starliner spacecraft expected to return to Earth later on tonight. But it's crazy to think, you know, it was just exactly almost three months ago to the day that Boeing Starliner lifted off, launched from Cape Canaveral, was heading to the ISS International Space Station with two astronauts on board. That excitement dwindled as soon as Starliner docked at the ISS. The problem started piling up um, with technical issues docking eight days for Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore turned into eight weeks. Weeks turned into months. Engineers tried fixing the thruster issues and helium leaks on Star Starliner. Eventually NASA making that difficult decision to bring back Boeing Starliner spacecraft, but without the astronauts and today Starliner will return to Earth. Really, the thrusters on the service module, uh, the next big job they have is to hold the attitude uh, while the, the big OMAX fires. Anthony said it's about a 60 second deorbit burn, and that's the critical thing to, that needs to happen to get the, the crew module on a safe trajectory uh, to enter into the atmosphere and then land at White Sands. And this is where White Sands, New Mexico is and where Starliner is heading. The capsule will land at the Space Harbor just after midnight. So that's a roughly six hour journey from the ISS. As for Butch and Sonny, it almost sounds like a sounds like there's some rock stars part of a band, Sonny and Butch. Um, as for those two astronauts, they're going to stay on the ISS for another six months. They're expected to return to Earth um, in February, late February of 2025. That spacecraft is going to be a SpaceX Dragon capsule is expected to go up from here, from Cape Canaveral, just over there um, later on this month. From Cape Canaveral, Xavier Walton, News Nation.